What's up guys? We got the Junkrat buff we've all been wanting, waiting for. It's going to PTR, it's not live right now. Um, typically when a buff goes to PTR, it uh, it goes to live version, unless there's like like mass chaos, like holy shit, it's crazy. But usually it doesn't really happen. So most likely this is what's gonna be going to the live servers. Uh, the hero update is Junkrat gets uh, two concussion mines. He's allowed to hold two concussion mines at once. He can throw one and then blow it up and then throw another one immediately. Uh, after you throw the first one, the cooldown starts for the, the regeneration. If you throw the second one, then the cooldown stays the same. It goes to one and then once it gets to one, then it'll start the cooldown again to get the second one back. Um, so that's for the concussion mine. There's no damage reduction or anything. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, dude. Uh, for rip tire, you got tire movement speed and increased by 30%. It's a good buff. It's really, really good. I would have loved to see an HP buff, but a 30% increase of speed is pretty fucking... That's that's something, dude. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm not complaining about that. It's going to make Tyre a lot better. Uh, there's no longer a time limit while wall climbing. That's pretty pretty good, too, because there's a lot of instances where you try and wall climb, and you actually can't get up the wall because it would, like, you would just fall down once you go halfway up. So uh, Tyre, got, Tyre got an insane buff by adding that extra little bit there. So let's go ahead and close the patch notes and let's uh, hit up the PTR. So what we have here in uh, in PTR is uh, we have double concussion mine. So what you can do here is you can throw the first mine and you can see the cooldown start for the regeneration to get the second mine back. Um, and if we throw the second mine, the first one disappears. So you can't throw two mines at once, but you do have uh, the capacity to throw another one after you blow the first one up. So, I have that first mine thrown, and I have two mines in my kit. So what you can do is you can triple jump. And now I have zero, mi zero mines left, and the cooldown starts again. Once it goes back up to one, I'll have that mine, and then it'll, the cooldown will continue to go to get the second one back. I can throw this one here. So it's, it's pretty crazy, dude. Like, this is going to allow for so many, like, insane things. Like, you could do, just for example, I'll show you. If I have two mines... Look, there's two people in front of me. Boom. One shot kill. Oh, I reloaded on accident. So boom. One shot kill. You can kill two people. One shot combo. Like, what if that was like a Soldier 76 and an Ana? Boom. Both dead. Uh, you can do other things. Like, you can, you can, uh, let's see. One shot kill. And then you can concussion yourself away. Uh, one thing, some things you need to be aware of is that, uh, like, say you try to cross map a concussion mine. Like, don't. Don't, uh, I'll show you in a second once I get my cooldown back. Don't go like this and then throw your other one right away because the one that you threw is going to disappear. You need to make sure you blow up your first mine first before you throw your second mine because it'll make the first one disappear. So that's the the concussion mine buff. Uh, my TLDR, absolutely fucking insane. Um, Junkrat is going to be so strong, like so strong. It's a huge buff. I mean, he's not going to be completely OP OP, but he's going to be really, really strong. This allows for more pressure. It's going to be able to kill Fares easier because you can like concussion mine up and then one shot combo her, stuff like that. You have more mobility, more pressure at choke points. It's it's crazy, dude. People are going to be really pissed off. All right, so the next change is Riptire. He got Riptire got two changes. He got 30% increase in speed and you also got uh, like infinite wall climbing. I'll just say that. So look how fast this is. It's fucking insane. Like, this is such a huge increase. And then you can go like this. You can go up any wall you want, go anywhere you want, and it's just nuts. Look how fast you go. I can climb all up that entire wall. Like, you can go anywhere you want with Riptire now. You don't have to worry about like going halfway up a wall and then falling down and, and being useless and wasting time. And the speed of Riptire is... I mean, I personally, I would have liked to see an HP buff because I think... Uh, like a ferret rocket shooting randomly can just hit a random rip tire and kill it. I think it's kind of bullshit. Or it gets destroyed while you're calling it out. Uh, but a speed buff plus the wall climb buff, that's pretty strong, dude. I can't complain about that. Like, it's going to be really, really good. Uh, I, th I still think I'm going to use pretty much every single rip tire strat that I have. If you guys want to look up my rip tire guide, you can go to my Twitch chat, type in command rip tire, or just check out my YouTube guides. Um, I have like five really big tips that I have in that. Uh, I don't think anything's really gonna change. It's just gonna allow for Riptire to get more value because you have more speed. But uh, yo, if you guys enjoy that video, please uh, you know hit the like, hit the sub, all that stuff. 
Junkrat's fucking insane. I hope you guys uh, tune into the stream, check out what I can do with him. I will probably stream some PTR. I'll make like a, an announcement first on like Discord and Twitter and all that, so you guys can, if you want to watch it, you can uh, you can watch that. I'll probably record it and put it on YouTube too though. But uh, yeah, I hope this goes live. If it goes live, it's going to be awesome. So yeah, Junkrat's buffed, Junkrat is meta. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll see you next time. Play of the game. You'll like this one! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, I stream 7 days a week on Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime and want to support my channel, you can subscribe once a month for free. But remember, you'll have to manually renew it every 30 days. And finally, I want to thank you all for the support you've given me so far.